Hello guys, so I am very tired. I woke up at like 8, I don't know why I was going to sleep in today, but I couldn't apparently. Um, then I chilled, spent like an hour and 15 minutes on the phone with Emma, which was good. And then went to CrossFit, which was really good. And then I just ate breakfast slash lunch. Um, oh, I did the food shopping before I ate lunch. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired, so I'm probably going to have a nap. I've already done one of my workouts for today. It's only 2 p.m., 2.20, so if I nap till like 4 o'clock and go for a run when I wake up, and then my workouts will be done for the day. Um, My suit arrived in the mail. It fits. It actually looks really good. It's quite strange to see myself in a male suit, but it suits me. <laughs> Believe it or not, you don't often see females rocking a suit. Um, But yeah, I guess if you rock it with confidence, it can suit anyone, so... It looks really good. Even the yellow colour looks really good. So Emily and I are going to look awesome on um, on Friday for the wedding. I'm pretty keen. I'm not getting makeup or anything done um, because I'm a groomswoman. I don't really need a full face of makeup. I don't really need makeup at all. Besides this massive pimple that's shown up, I'm trying not to touch it, which is why it's got a gross white head at the moment. I don't want to touch it too much. Probably what I will end up doing to minimise the redness is popping it with a sewing needle that's sterilised just so I can get the excess pus out and hope that the redness goes down before the wedding. Either way, I'm sure the photographers will touch it up if it looks too horrendous. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to put my hair up in a bun. Just make sure it's a bit neater than usual when I'm going to like CrossFit and stuff. That will suffice. My shoes that I bought look good. Um, I'm taking the pants to get tailored this evening um, at 7.30. So, yeah, if I, I suppose if I try to wake up no later than 4.30, I'll be able to go for my run and then go do that. Um, I feel really good, besides for being tired. It feels like I forgot that I was going to South Australia soon for the skydiving course and I bought a whole bunch of food. <laughs> and then also the fact that I'm probably not going to eat anything at home on Friday or maybe lunch. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I can't form any more thoughts because I just want to sleep. So I'm going to go do that now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before that my suit arrived, but I look uh, I look quite good in it. I'm very surprised. I didn't know what it would look like. I didn't know how it would fit. Um, I made an appointment to get them tailored so that the hem gets brought up a bit because the legs are a bit long. Um, and I took it to the woman who's tailoring it and I'll probably go and pick it up tomorrow. Um, it was someone on a local community page and it's only 10 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, I think I filmed after CrossFit, so I ended up having a massive nap and then went for a run when I woke up and it was pretty quick for how I've been running lately. It was like a 7.23 pace. Um, my average heart rate was like 162, so it was a bit of a tempo run. Um, felt nice though. Um, I'm planning on... Oh, baby. We've given her Valium because she's got to go to the vet tomorrow to get her blood test. So the, the vet said give her half a Valium tonight. Then half a volume in the morning and she's very very drowsy but bipsy it's the only way you can get a blood test and we can see the liver levels are okay hopefully eight weeks time once her anti-anxiety medication builds up in her system she'll be a lot calmer of a dog a lot less nervous um anyway yeah i went for the run and then took my pants to get altered and then emily and i went by a new coles that's in our area and it's bloody phenomenal and i found biscoff spread not that I bought it because there's no point in tempting, tempting myself when I'm on 75 hard. Also, it was $17 for the one fucking tub. Um, and yeah, they also stocked our favourite salt, David's Kosher Salt. So definitely going to be going and shopping at that Coles from now on. Very good. Um, I've been cleaning a bit. I did some laundry, folded some laundry. I... Um, Emily cleaned a bit of her room, I cleaned a bit of my spare room. My intention is to have it all cleaned properly by the time I go back to work so that I don't have to worry about stuff like that anymore. But um, other news, I started reading Tyson Fury's book. It's really good so far, I'm enjoying it. And I feel like there's more that I need to say, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, I bought um, a ticket to go and see Real Big Fish, the Scar Band, tomorrow night. My friend Phil's going to be there as well, so like I'm happy to go to a gig alone, but it's always a little bit better when you get to go with people and, and have fun with them. So yeah. Um, also, about my motorbike license, I've got to get it before the 5th of January, so I've decided I'm going to book in for the 20th of December, um, or potentially on Sunday. Either way, I'm going to, 
I'm gonna get my motorbike license. I wanna go shopping tomorrow. Uh, my plan is probably to do CrossFit. If I don't do CrossFit, it's not the end of the world because I've already done three this week. Um, and I wanna go on a bike ride again, um, 20Ks this time. And I think it'll be less windy, so it'll be probably quite a bit easier. <laughs> um, I will go. Should take me about an hour to do 20Ks. What's the weather like? 23 degrees, oh, so it'll be pretty, oh, 20, yeah, 23. Yeah, it's gonna be like 22 degrees. What I might also do then is wear my bathers underneath and take my snorkel set down. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. I really wanna try it, so I might go to the Point and Peen Car Park in Alwood, um, go for my bike ride, then lock my bike in my car, and, um, go snorkeling. It's one way to get your bike stolen is locking in your car. That'll get someone to smash your window pretty easily. But at the same time, it's no reason not to go snorkeling. And your bike could just as easily get stolen if you locked it up to like a pole or something. Hmm. Anyway, I'm rambling massively, so I'm going to stop. Thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.